Capri Studio with your host, JC Caprice, right here on WorldwideCoreRadio.com. Relax, relate, breathe. Yo, good evening. What's up? This is your girl, JC Caprice, and you are officially, officially in the Soul Studio. It is Thursday. What is the date, Charlotte? What is today? The third? The third. The third. And this is the Soul Studio. We are talking about entrepreneurship. So, you want to be an entrepreneur. Hmm. It's going to be a dope show. We have some awesome guests that are going to be joining us via phone. We have Sophia Janelle. We have Keisha Danielle with KDC. Yes, KDC by Keisha Danielle. And join, and we also have one single Rose who is, who's a bomb host. She, we're just going to get in with all these entrepreneurs. So, we're doing it big. But without further ado, let me introduce to you all. Let me introduce to some of you all and reintroduce to a lot of y'all. <laughs> My sister girl, Charlotte. Can I can I do the P part? For sure. <laughs> Charlotte P. Oh, I wish we had like an around like a round of applause oh, in this yay. piece, man. You just dope. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. You are dope. You know what I'm saying? And um it's just good to have you back. You, you've been on this show before. Well, not this show, but you were on another show that I had before. So, you know, I'm proud of you, the things that you're doing. And I thought, what's more fitting than to have her on an entrepreneur show? Because you are definitely someone who is uh, about doing her thing. Awesome. Thank you so much for the invitation, Jay. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me again. Most again, definitely. you are my sister. I love you. Oh, and you have oh. just shown me so much. You've grown so much. And that's I'm proud dope. of you. That's so dope. proud of your show. Oh, that's so dope. Oh, I'm about to have some tears up here. Ah! So, you want to be an entrepreneur. That's what we're talking about today. You know, and basically, what is an entrepreneur? Simple. It's somebody who basically sees a need and yeah. fills it. Most of the time, it's, it's people I believe are conscious people. People who are really tapped in to to the pulse of of the humanness. <laughs> what's yes. needed. You know what I'm saying? And it is what's needed. And mm-hmm. it's just a matter of like like getting out there, mm-hmm. know, ha- knowing what you're wanting to do, and yeah. having the faith. Oh, girl, you saying it. Mm-hmm. Having the faith. Stepping out on faith and then acting acting in that faith. Mm-hmm. Actually stepping out and actively doing it. So that's who we're, we're talking to people who are actually doing this. And, um, you know, the, the kind of people who define, who invest, who build, and then repeat it. You know, even putting their own maybe financial risk ahead, you know, mm-hmm. to do it. Mm-hmm. But they then are able to double that so that they can feed into even more adventures. You know, you say entrepreneurship, but to me, they're, they're more like adventures in life. Awesome, and that's you what's know? up. That's what's up. So my first guest tonight is none other than Keisha Danielle. That's, yes, KDC by Keisha Danielle. What's up? And she also has Jay with her. What's up, fam? How are you doing? I am doing well. How are you? I am doing great. So, you know, I've had you on one of my shows before, and we spoke about your your passion for fashion. But where did your passion for fashion come from, my dear? Um, It came from just being artistic in general. Mm-hmm. I was always that weird art kid who <laughs> threw on crazy things, and then I ended up drawing on my shirts and being small, I ended up pinning up a lot of my clothes, and I just learned how to sew from there and just made it work for myself. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. And then you turned it into. Now you had it. You had a vision. You said you were you were pinning. You started doing things that were a little different than what the fashion may have been of the day. How did you then grow from that? What made you say, you know what, I may be able to to do more with this? Because I was different. Mm hmm. And a lot of people looked at me and was like, "Ew, what are you doing?" Hmm. That moment, it made me say, "Okay, I'm doing something." Yeah, different from everybody else. Wow, that's what's up. And that's something. So, so your difference actually fueled you into into realizing what your purpose was. It didn't hinder you. Not necessarily. At first, it was a little broken of a spirit, but then it just hmm. grew from there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk a little bit about your fashions. I have a fashionista who is actually yes. up in here, Charlotte P. Hall. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh. you. Keisha, I've been dying to talk to you. I just had a couple questions for you to see if you can just take me to a fashion future. Okay. Hey, here. Hi. <laughs> so, um, first of all, color blocking. I had some girlfriends at work. I talked to them, told them you were going to be on the show, and they wanted to know about, like, color blocking and with you being a fashion, having a fashion sense – what can you give us, like, an idea of, like, how do you color block? Um, 
color blocking is basically taking colors that complement each other, but they're different at the same time. So if I was to wear a pink shirt, you know, that's long enough, let's say I made a dress, I'm wearing a pink dress, and I'm wearing black tights and black patent leather shoes, and I just grab an orange clutch, hmm. and that's a pop of color, that's hmm. you know, a little bit of of crazy vibe to your outfit. It just makes people turn their heads, and that's really what color blocking is, just taking simple colors and making them complement each other. That's what's up because I like to turn heads. Yes, you do, honey. <laughs> have you have you seen Charlotte, Charlotte's pictures? If you <laughs> have not seen this woman's pictures, she does turn heads, honey. Girl, your legs. Go ahead with your bad <laughs> self. <laughs> well, that's what's up, Keisha. The other thing I was going to ask about was um, the color white. So my coworkers wanted to know and the people in the street wanted to know, is it still a no-no to wear white after Labor Day? No, it is. You can wear white any time of the year. That is a myth. It is old. Nina Garcia herself said white is okay to wear all year round. It's a sheet color. You can do winter white. You can do eggshell. You can do off white. You can do regular white. It's just so many ways you could do it. White is not a forbidden color. After mm. Oh, mm, so you heard it here. Up. That's live not. in action. We heard it here because okay. now you know your girl going to buy some white. Oh things. my goodness! Watch out, world! <laughs> now, Keisha, talking about about your fashion and in the fashion industry, I had a guest on uh, Piper Carter a couple weeks ago, who's also just I mean a bomb entrepreneur who does so many things, and you know, dealing in the fashion industry, have have there been any? It, has anything made you want to, to give up or just discourage you as far as is the industry hard for an African-American woman? I mean, what things have you faced in really walking your, your passion? Um, it, it, it is a tough field. Mm-hmm. Very tough field. You're taking criticism um, of your work on something you put hours and hours and hours into. And somebody can yeah. literally look at it and say, okay, this is me. And in your mind, you sat there and worked on it so hard. You're like, no, I re- it really is. Hmm. So you, you get those days where you're just like, oh, man, should I still be doing this? Yeah. At the end of the day, you, you continue and you keep pushing and you find your niche. Hmm. So I was so different. That's yeah. what made me do what I do now. So yeah. I'm going to continue to be different. And everybody's not going to like it. Right. And it's definitely a tough industry. And as an African-American woman, you don't see a lot of us. Um, out there mm-hmm. doing some strong fashion mm. fashion um, shows mm. very rare yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Because I have a friend in the fashion business as well, and he's doing shirts called mm. Veggie Fresh. And mm. his shirts are like online now, but he just took vegetables and made them to the person that he's giving it to. He pretty much just. Um, cloned it to for that person. So the veggie looks like that person? The veggie is That's dope. That that's dope. If you guys I'm going to ask both of you guys. If you guys were a vegetable, which one would you be? Because that, that's kind of funny. I could tell you what I would be. Hot tamale. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Keisha? If you were a vegetable, what would you be, honey? I'd be a strawberry. Aww. Aww. Strawberry. Sure <laughs> Now... Oh, that's got to be Jay. Jay, that was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. Jay, how are you doing? I'm good. What's going on? That's what's up. I, I consider you to be the really the, the second half of, of that team, that duo there. You guys are really awesome team working together. The support system there is, is big, and I think that's key, too, when you're talking about being an entrepreneur. Sometimes you have to stand alone, but that person right next to you, uh, you know, just just encouraging you on is, is very key. What have you noticed in Keisha as far as her growth and in her vision from your standpoint, Jay? One thing that I've noticed is, especially after every show, like, this year, she did a million shows. Hmm. You always get together and talk, okay, what's next? What's mm-hmm. next? You know, and when she tells me, I just do my best to support her and help her reach the next thing. That's what's up. That's what's up. You and like that was that. one of my questions. Yeah. What is your fashion future? Hmm. Keisha? My fashion future, um, my ultimate goal is to be in the CSCA. That's, oh, that's what's up. You know, it's very hard to get into. It's a very prestigious group. You're talking like Michael Kors and Don wow, from awesome. mm-hmm. And so many elite people are in that. Wow. Wow. That's what's up, Keisha. And, I, you know, I hadn't made it to one of your shows, but your boy Jay, he's always promoting you. So yes, I definitely want to get there. So yes. you have an awesome support team. What's up, Jay? I miss <laughs> you from Packer Health. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> yeah, he is, like you said, truly, when, when doing what I do, I think that's, that goes a part of that giving up moment because when you have a support system that hmm. I have, mm-hmm. you can't give up because then you look at that person like, oh, okay, you've been supporting me too long in hmm. order for, you know, me to just give up off of I feel some type of way some days. And yeah, that yeah. Support, that support is, is, is real. It's endless. I love it. That's what, and that 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 is awesome. You know what I'm saying? That support system. That you're seeing some really key things that go along with being, you know, an entrepreneur, stepping out on faith, and 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 seeing the beauty in your differences, and having that strong support system. And I mean, I know you you have a show coming up soon, don't you? Yay. Mm-hmm. Next week. Yes. What? Tell us about it. Where's it going to be? Um, this show is going to be at Eastern Michigan <gasps> University. Yeah. Um, I was at. From the girl who was the head of nationality, it's on the October tenth. Okay. <laughs> okay, October tenth. Yeah, that's like to do that. next next Friday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Okay. Yeah, Thursday. Okay, Eastern Michigan. At what time? It's at seven p.m. Seven p.m. And is there? You said Eastern Michigan. Was there a particular building? Is it the auditorium or? Um. I you know <laughs> this, <laughs> this is what we'll do. You guys make sure to get that information to me and I'll post it on my website at that producer chick dot simple site dot com. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, yes. Okay, that that's what's up. And what advice would you give to someone who's out there with a vision, a passion, who's looking to take it to that next step? I would say put it all on the table and mm. don't give up. Mm. Oh, I like that. Say it again. Put it all on the table and don't give up. Don't give up. Wow. That's dope, man. That's dope. Well, I'm going to have to definitely bring you, you know, keep up with you, as I promise you. You know, it's, it's good talking to both of you today. Um, we're going to get that information on the website so that the people can come out and support you guys. Now, your 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 website, where can we reach you? Um, you can reach me at thisiskdc.com. This is KDC.com. And that website, I went there. It's the bomb. She's got uh, pictures of her work on there. And um, before you go, I do have one more question, though. When you do design, when you have a design, are you designing more for, like, the fashion industry? Or are you designing clothes that are, like, for, you know, the everyday man, woman? What What's your focus when you do that? Because I want to know if I can get a jacket made or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next after her. <laughs> You know, it, it definitely is on the high fashion level if I'm feeling that type of way for that show. But I am everyday woman. Like, I, I wear, I make things I would wear. And since I am the everyday woman, I don't go too far out there with certain things. But that's definitely what I do. Along with, you know, I do knitwear and I do accessories. So I mix a lot of the everyday woman into all of my shows. Well, you two are just absolutely awesome. We just appreciate you coming on the show, talking with us, spending some time, and letting us know about your passion and your vision. We value you, and we just encourage you to keep doing your thing, y'all two. Aww, sister love. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a supporter, Keisha, and thanks. It's so awesome to meet you finally, and yes. I'm going to definitely be at your website. Oh, yes. View the website. We have another, um, well, actually, event for October coming up, so it's definitely something you want to check out. Awesome. It's going to start tomorrow for Breast Cancer Month. Oh, Yay. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Fashion with a cause. I love it. Awesome. Well, we will check in with you again. Man, mad love to you, too. And thank you so much for being on the Soul Studio, man. Y'all rock. I love y'all. Y'all rock. Bye, Jay. Bye, Keisha. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. Man, that was Keisha Danielle. Keisha Danielle with KDC. KDC. That's what's up. By Keisha Danielle. That's what's up. I'm so excited to yes. read her website. Yes, man. Her her website again. She said, "What is it?" The nope. Yep. She said her website. I know you this wrote it down. That's KDC. why you the bomb. This is KDC dot com. Now we're gonna get into a couple of things. We're talking about entrepreneurship, and uh, a couple of things that I got off of Forbes dot com. A couple of tips here is uh, ways to establishing your business. Number one is to find mentors. It's very important for you to find people who may have been doing this for a little bit of time. Find some mentors. Also, you may want to work out. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm not, you know, doing Zumba or working out or something, I don't feel like I'm at my best. So it might be a good thing to work out, to eat right, you know, start getting your body tight because it's all right. I'm not saying kill yourself, but be the best you that you can be. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here right now. I did eat like a cheeseburger. (laughs) At lunch today So you know It's a work in progress 
<laughs> That's tip number two, work out. <laughs> tip number three, set a schedule for yourself. Make sure that when you have a vision that you write it down and you just you just set a schedule for yourself and then you follow it through. You know what I mean? Keep keep it to a T. Keep it tight to a T. Also, number four, know your weaknesses. Know what your strengths are and your weaknesses. It's always good to look at both of them, right? Right. You know, you can't always be strong. It's good to know your weaknesses at all. It all kind of balances you out. And then number five, set deadlines, goals, and stick to them. I think I, I think I said that one. But that's five tips from Forbes.com. That's awesome. where the money makers go. Forbes. <laughs> Old money makers. New money makers. So it's legit. Next on the phone, guess who we got? Kim, keeping it moving with Kim. What Kim up? On the block. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? Are we doing good, sis? What's up? Oh, keeping it moving. That's what what's up. <laughs> keeping it moving. Uh-huh. What you got? Yeah, I just wanted to know because you know I hadn't heard anything about Rashida from Love and Hip Hop. Okay. You know she actually had her baby back in August. Uh huh. So I wanted to give put that out there that she did finally give birth to a baby boy that was born on August the 21st. Oh, wow. Aww. Congratulations, Rashida. Yeah, that was something I wanted to make knowledge, you know, make notice of. So I wanted to put that out there. And then there was a rumor about Keisha Cole. Uh-oh. And <laughs> issues with her marriage. Oh. Just um, said that she was uh, spotted at one of Jeezy's concert. And that they was uh, possibly maybe messing around with each other and things like that. Oh, Lord have mercy. Heard from Keisha Cole was that she was not going to divorce her hubby. Uh huh. So I think it's all just a rumor because she, you know, is hanging out with him now and a mm-hmm. bunch of a bunch of other folks and things like that. Mm hmm. But from her mouth. Is not messing up her marriage. Wow, wow! I know I'd watched their show before, and they always seem. I don't know because they were they were new. It always yeah. seemed like their their chemistry was a little different. I mean, I'm not in their relationship. She got a little bit of yeah, I don't know, it but well, like it was kind of like an off and on thing. Yeah. Right? But I guess she she just that type of person. You know, she very down to earth. Mm-hmm. We gonna hope for the best for them. That, yeah. You know, yes, they we are. Things together and yep. for their son and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But, all for family, that's what matters. Yeah, there you go. We just going to keep that going and hope for the best for them. Yeah, support system. Yeah, and then also <laughs> Nene Leakes, we all know, who was once married, has remarried. Yes, I heard about that. Doesn't she have a show about that? Yeah, she got a new show called I Dream of Nene. Yes, I Have you watched Nene. it, though, Kim? She's um, not getting along with the kids. You I watched it? Yet- Oh, well, the older kids and her are not getting along. So I just wonder if she should have just like just left it, just left it alone, mm. just left it alone. Mm. Oh, mm. Maybe so, and continue with what she's doing because you know she do a lot of acting and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but check it out. It's on Tuesdays at nine p.m. Uh huh. And again, it's called I Dream of Nene. I Dream of Nene. Yeah, and see where that goes for her. Wow. Hopefully, you know, positive things happen on that part. Yeah, it can't be easy being a celebrity, you know what I'm saying, when your life is out there. I mean, these are people who are doing things. We're talking about entrepreneurs. Exactly. Nene is an entrepreneur. entrepreneur. I mean, she's got her hands in many a things, yes. you know what I'm saying? But I think you're a little more scrutinized when your your life is more public. Yeah, you yeah, know? definitely. Yeah. yeah, but we do. Like you said, we wish, we wish the best for them. Kim, you got anything else for us? Is that it? And I just wanted to shout out birthdays for today. Shout them. Yeah, we got Gwen Stefani. She's 44 today. Hey, no how the back gap. Al Sharpton, he's 59 today. Hey, like we said, hot combs around the country <laughs> are turning on from <laughs> Mr. Al Sharpton. He's a swelly, a rapper that's formed with many of people. Nice. His birthday is today. So I okay. just wanted to give birthday shout outs also. Yay. Awesome. Kim, who keeps it moving, but also keeps it minimal. Girl, right. we love it. Thank you so much, Kim. We, we will see you, you again next week, honey. Love you back. Y'all have a good You one. too, sweetie. <laughs> hey, that's keeping it moving with Kim. I think we got to get ready to go to a break, but when we come back, we're going to be speaking with our feature artist, Sophia Janelle. She is dope. I can't wait for you all to talk with her. She's also an entrepreneur. I, I She can just sing is what I became a fan of, but there's so much more to her. So make sure you all keep it locked as we get into a break right here. You're listening to The Soul Studio with your host, Jason Caprice, and special guest, Charlotte P. Yeah, right here. Don't go anywhere. Worldwide Core 
Radio is the place to be. You need studio time or a place to mix and master your music? We got the best engineers, the best equipment, hands down. You want your music played? We got you. Worldwide Core Radio, we broadcast live from any location. Hire us for your next event. We're the new leaders in internet radio seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We even got our app available now. iPhone, Android, just search Worldwide Core Radio or visit WorldwideCoreRadio.com. Come get your business advertised with us no matter what it is. We have packages available to fit all financial needs. Worldwide Core Radio is a true supporter. You're looking to get your own show? We got the hottest shows hands down. Let me repeat that. Hottest shows hands down and we want you. All you got to do is contact Lovett, our president of operations, 248-397-8884. Or email worldwidecoreradio at gmail.com. Again, contact Lovett, 248-397-8884. Or email us worldwidecoreradio at gmail.com. It's Worldwide Core Radio. Hey, we what up, though, Mo, man? Snake Smooth, what up, though? Man, you wouldn't believe where I just came from for lunch, bro. Where you come from? Man, I had that big business mm, corned beef. Mm, yeah, you talking about front page deli right down the street from Core Studio? You know it. With Swiss cheese and my choice of dressing. Me personally, I like the Russian right. dressing. Yeah, I used On to the get onion the onion uh, roll, the, the too, rye bro. Bread. Well, you know, yeah, some I, folks like that get. rye bread. Me, I like the onion roll. You heard of them? That uh, front page deli over there on uh, 24810 Greenfield in Oak Park, yeah, Michigan. Yeah, right, right down there, uh, 10 Mile in Greenfield. Yeah, man, they, they got a sandwich of your choice, man, specialty sandwiches, you know. They got uh, the local, the classified, the press, the Detroiter, the Metro. Man, they they got it all, bro. I, th- I think you'll be very satisfied yeah, over yeah, that. Yeah, I like mo. that big business for fourteen ninety nine. That boy, yeah, pastrami with the Swiss cheese. Man, I, I feel you. From now on, man, on my lunch break, bro, I'm going down to Front Page Deli, for man, sure. and get my eat on. For sure. Over there on twenty four eight one zero Greenfield, Oak Park, Michigan. For sure. Yeah, that's all for what? Ten Mile in Greenfield, right down the street. You know. Or you can call your order that's in that. at 248-968-5533. Hey, now, that's business for you. Front page deli, Front baby. Front page deli. Specialty sandwiches. For sure. Now, I don't know how many places you can call to order a sandwich, but you sure can call Front Page Deli. <laughs> Oh, Jarrell. Hey, hi, Jarrell. He's our engineer in the soul studio. We love you, boo. Hi, we had him Jarell. blushing last week talking about how gorgeous he is with he his got a nice twist. Isn't he, Dunny? We're going to have him modeling in a few, so y'all keep that locked because we're going to put those pictures on that producer chick. That simple site.com. So y'all can see what we talk about. You, you, it's good to look cross at you. <laughs> right? Could be someone else. Thank you. It could be, girl. It really could be. But look, we're talking about entrepreneurship, right? Yes. And we just got finished uh, talking with KDC, mm-hmm. Keisha, Danielle, KDC. Yes. And we d- we keep it rolling, yo. We're gonna keep this rolling because we have another entrepreneur who is just. I mean, she. I'm such a fan of hers. I can't wait to meet such her. Such a fan. Her name is Sophia. Janelle Taylor and she joins us on the Soul Studio. What's up, sis? Hey. <laughs> Yay! Hi. How are you doing? Awesome. I have no complaints this way. That's awesome. what's up, man. Well, look. Nobody cares anyway. Well, there you go. Ain't that something? I care. I do too. I care. <laughs> we are sisters. <laughs> we, we are love sisters. You. Sister circle. Well, look. You are an awesome singer. I already told you I am such a fan of your your vocals. Thank um you so much. yes and there's there's a really, that means a lot to me thank you yes most definite i mean you're you're would you categorize yourself as a soul singer or or what would you categorize yourself as if you had to a child of god hey, hey. hallelujah don't oh. make, don't make me shout i know uh, right we some god fearing people uh. Right, I'm just a singer, you know. Whatever he puts on my soul, yeah. I write and I sing it. Mm. You know, that's what's up. That's what's up. And listening to your your music, where and I, I I hear the spirituality part of it, but you know, expound a little bit more on where that that passion comes from. You know, when you're singing or when you're writing a song. Mm-hmm. Well, the good part about me, I believe, is. Um, you know, this is another reason why I tell a lot of singers that they need to write 
Because right. a lot of times when you sing the songs that you write, they come off just a touch more believable. Hmm. You know, for most of my material, well, all of my material, I write it myself. So it makes me sing it even more passionately. Yeah. And even even if it's not a, a, a personal experience, yeah. it comes from something that I know about. And that's really why I wrote the song. And so in turn, I want to sing it more passionately. So that's kind of where my passion comes from that you hear in those songs. Yes. I wrote them. Yes. So they may, may or may not be personal experiences, but I can relate to them. See, and that that is so key there. You know, I'm right. I'm with you on that, Sophia, for real. Because, I mean, when you write a song, it's like you, you're really you really are putting a piece of yourself out there, and and you so, so hats can relate. off to the people that actually sing songs mm-hmm. so well that mm-hmm. didn't write them. Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's deep. I mean, really, because yeah, because you have to put in a certain type of acting type of emphasis yep. in that you yeah. know so yeah. yeah that's an art within itself yeah it is, it is. yeah it is you got to you got to pull from somewhere i know we you know in doing acting it's like you had I had to search myself to pull in even if I hadn't experienced it mm-hmm. you had to pull from somewhere so now I'm with you on that one too hats off to them yes. <laughs> well Sophia I'm always looking for like great new music and stuff and anything my sister JC has introduced me to I've always loved Yeah. and so I'm just so excited to meet you thank you for oh, um, this yay. opportunity yes. and I do want to tomorrow huh? definitely <laughs> she already yeah. told me about that yep. and yep. so you know and I meet everyone through her, really. So yeah. I'm just excited. Yeah. If I don't get you tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna connect. get you. She's like the um, <laughs> the underground. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. on, you better say that. The underground. I'm about to get a t-shirt made. <laughs> the underground. So we we do want to hear some of your music, and I do want to come back out and talk with you. But I so want to show the people what we're talking about. Go ahead and introduce your song, and we're gonna play it, and we're gonna come back and speak with you. Okay, definitely. Well, I do believe, what are we playing? Are we going to play Free Your Mind? Free Your Mind, yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, we're playing Free Your Mind? Yes, ma'am. I need to, okay. Well, this is Free Your Mind by Sophia Janelle. It's the, uh, um, it's my latest CD. So, here we go. You all, enjoy it. Free Your Mind. There's a dry, what's the matter with you? Cause I ain't seen you all day, so it couldn't be me It's something I bet your job, baby, tell me I wanna be your listening in Your comfort spot, your comfort spot I wanna cool you off when the world makes you hot I'll do whatever it takes, I'm here to soothe your aches Can I take it all away, baby? I can make it go away From your back, baby, you just recline uh-huh. You can tell me what's really on your mind
Wow. Sophia, Janelle. Oh, I enjoyed that. Taylor. Yay. Wow. I mean, I'm just in awe. That is so, that's so yeah. smooth. What, how did you get the concept behind that song? Where'd that come from? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. That's a good one. Particular <laughs> song. I can't even tell you where I got that huh. concept from. Sometimes I'll write whatever the track tells me to write. That's what's up. Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it, it'll speak to you. It'll tell you, okay, write this. Yeah, well. Mm-hmm. This is the subject matter. Yeah. Well, every you feel, track, I felt like you took beat. me on a ride. Like, or you took me like on a, like a jazz soulful ride. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I think I think Actually, you're your producer's dream. You know, if you're talking about you write to the music, you're absolutely a producer's dream. Oh wow! Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm I'm and producer. The, uh, the person that actually <laughs> produced that entire CD, his name is Corey. And Corey. We call him Co-P. Co-P. Shouts out to Co-P. <laughs> Yeah, y'all he, sound he, good. He put his foot in every last one of those tracks. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. From the tracks that I've heard, he he did all. He did your whole album. He did the entire CD. It's dope. I mean, it's completely dope, and it doesn't all sound the same. You know what I mean? A lot of producers, you listen to their music, and it's like, oh, okay, this is a so and so track. Like his music is, mm-hmm. it's it's smooth. It's, it's all it's like the same genre, but it's it's smooth in its own way. I found. Yeah, you know, very gifted, extremely gifted. Nice. He actually recorded the entire project in L.A. I lived in L.A. and he was living in L.A. at the same time. Wow! wow. Look at that! Look at look at how that. talented. Now, are you are you originally from Flint? I'm from Flint, okay. yeah, but I lived in L.A., I, uh, I lived in Georgia, and actually I started writing on that project. I was on the R. Kelly tour. Oh, wow. Writing the project, and mm-hmm. we recorded it, and bam, there it is. And oh, we're wow. actually about to begin production on the second CD. That's what's up. Look, I'm going to put a, a shameless plug. If you ever need a background singer. You better say <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Holla at your girl. <laughs> I let you girl. Right. Okay. She's very soulful. Okay. I got you. Okay. If you. Okay. I will be calling you. Right. You know, Sophia, that's that's another reason why I have this show. Is it's for networking as well. And like we were talking about when we were listening to your track, we're all connected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what you do. Go ahead. Uh, and we all need each other. We yes. really, really, really do. We all need each other because there is something that you know how to do that I don't yes you know yeah I mean it's always going to be like that at the end of time we yeah. will always need one another where we want whether we want to admit it or not yep you better you better say that now things are starting to, to to come out in you you're saying that you know you used to live in LA and and you I've heard you've been called an e-woman yeah what's an uh, e-woman yeah, What's an e-woman? <laughs> well, um, uh, well, like I was sharing with you, I had um, had uh, I went on a little miniature tour in L.A. Uh, last month. Uh-huh. And so I did some radio stations, and they were promoting the book because I also have a book out. So they were promoting the book, and they were promoting the CD, and and you know some of the other things. But the guy said to me because I do live readings for the book, and yes. because my background is actually acting, mm-hmm. Theater, wow. mm-hmm. I act out parts. Mm. book and so after I finished um, the guy said you know you're an e-woman hmm. I'm like what is, what is that he said you're you're an everything woman wow like, mm-hmm. everything and so the yeah. term just stuck with me mm-hmm. stuck with me yeah and here we are today so of course I'm creating something off of that title oh uh, yes I was hoping I was hoping you would be yeah, definitely but as I had to say with him it is so so many of us out here there's so many women out here they're running rings around me you know they got Hmm. kids and they Mm -hmm. got families and they got you know so many different things that they're juggling yeah now in these in this day and time yeah you have to be an e-woman. Amen. Awesome. Amen. And oh, you've encouraged me to be an e-woman. Hey. <laughs> we got another <laughs> one. <laughs> hey. That's, you hear what she said? Title. Yeah. Oh, yep. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Most yep. most definitely. Now, you're going to be performing tomorrow. I don't, I don't even like to say performing. You're going to be sharing with us in, tomorrow at the Detroit Soul Sipping, Soul Sipping Detroit event tomorrow, right? Correct. Courtesy of New Soul Collective. Yes. They're bringing me in to a... Uh, do a few numbers and so I'm sipping I do believe it's called Manila Cafe yeah Manila Bay Cafe Casino yeah 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 that's gonna be awesome so you're gonna be you're gonna be doing your thing live wow so if y'all are feeling her on the CD just just wait to hear in person I'm excited I'm gonna be there 
Yes, honey. I'm going to be there. I'm too excited. I think she's trying to bring me along, too. I'm going to see what I do with this hair. We're going to go. Let's <laughs> go get it. Come on out. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can out. Just throw a hat on your head. <laughs> Sophia, if you see me right now, I have that. <laughs> she is she is rocking that for sure. For sure. Now, where can we... I mean, because you said you're an author as well. So, you have um, how many books out? You're doing a, a trilogy? Yes, I have a book out. Yes. So yeah. I have a book out that... It is receiving rave, rave reviews. Mm. Just have to thank God for it. Even Amen. though that book is a hot mess. Oh. But the book is called Faithful Liar. Whoa. And um, it's fiction. Okay. It's available on barnesandnoble.com. It's available on amazon.com. I know. It's available in the back of my trunk. <laughs> dot, dot com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but everybody that reads the book, I mean, I am overwhelmed with the responses that I'm Aww, getting. That's awesome. Sophia, I have a confession. Popped up at my door, bamming on it. I couldn't believe it. And I don't like people popping up at my house. <laughs> wow. Open up that door. Yeah. And she said to me, where the second book at? Who? <laughs> that's what's up. Because it's a three-part a three part series, right? It's a three-part oxymoron series. Oxymoron book series. book is called faithful liar that's dope that's an oxymoron oh, yeah it is oh. yeah it is called, right the second book is called honest deception whoa whoa the third book is called ruthless saint these are some <laughs> Ooh, these titles I'm in a book club sophia called one sister oh. to another i would love 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 for us to meet you oh that'd be oh, awesome oh yeah you know and that's the thing about doing the things that we're doing a lot of times when you're doing things independently mm -hmm. you need to reach out to mm -hmm. people like-minded people so we can spread the word Amen. you know you have to come and speak to your book club and, yes. and do a reading because that's like i said that's my forte yes. i do live readings and i jump in and out of the characters i'm the dude what? i'm the chick i'm everybody you know <laughs> we need you at our meetings i love we have it so much fun love and this. we're on facebook one sister to another i wish you'll post something on our facebook page Yes, and I would appreciate it. Most definitely. definitely. I'll make sure to give you okay. all each other's information so that you guys can definitely keep that, that link. Yes. That I love this. Aww. This is this is beautiful, ladies. <laughs> my, 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 yes. my book club's gonna love me. I know. You know, I can't say it enough. We all need one another. Yes. You know, yes. There's so many gifted people out here. Thank you. Travels every city that I go to. I'm just usually in awe. Yes. I am in awe of the people mm. that I meet and the creativity that just flows from them. I'm like, oh right. my goodness, yes. God, you are amazing. Come mm. on now. Mm. Come on now. And if everybody would just be active and, and live their life alive and do what they're supposed to do, we will start to see those connections and make those connections and live those connections. And that's life. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. You know? I mean, it is life, but I also feel like life is what make it and yes. I always say if you're like living out your dream yeah and, and living your purpose you never feel like you've worked a day in your life mm. you do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. almost like you're not going to work know. you know yeah mm. love what you do you know yes. and I get it I know that life Easy. happens and some people's lives are set up differently mm -hmm. not able to get to their passion I yes. get that yes get that. so it really makes me feel even more blessed knowing that you know I've been able to do a lot of these things and work my passion. Well, you you are a definite dope sister. I mean, it's a blessing to be able to speak with you yes. tonight. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Where can we get at your projects? I know with the, the books, we can go to barnesandnobles.com. Yeah, you can go to barnesandnobles.com and amazon.com. Amazon and amazon yes. Get the book, Faithful Liar. You okay. You can go to iTunes. Mm hmm and download the CD. It's the CD is by Sophia Janelle. That's my artist name. That's my performance name, Sophia nice. Janelle. Yes. Um, and the title of the CD is called Audio Biography. That's dope. And yeah, it's on it's on iTunes. You can download that. And um, yeah, um, and the book is on barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com awesome. and we're about to push out that second one that's what's up man well i just appreciate you for joining us and just shedding just sharing your light with us and just shining and just being an awesome person sophia honestly thank you for having me you got it and i can't wait you will be back on october 24th mm -hmm. in the studio so you know we're gonna cut up right oh yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and i'll make sure i'll post all your information on my website 
Okay, at that producer chick dot simple site dot com. So nice meeting you. Thank you. We love you, our e woman. Meeting you also, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Awesome. Oh, you will. You will. Trust me. Trust me. I got influence. She'll be there. I don't have a shirt that says e woman. (laughs) A shirt. All right. Thank you all. You got it. Love. You have a good evening. Okay. All right, you too. See you tomorrow. All right, Aww. sweetie. Isn't she dope? She's absolutely yes. dope, man. I love Yo, it. she's dope. Hey, check this out. We are giving out two free tickets to the play called Fed Up, the stage play. It's got some art, some some bomb artists. Angel Spites, you, you Lisa Hancock, the master unpredictable. I think unpredictable mm-hmm. is is uh, the bomb. I think the ladies like unpredictable. For sure. Yeah, so give me a call here, man, at 248-397-8085. Again, 248-397-8085. Give me away free two free tickets. What could be better than that? What could be better than that? Going to this break so we can get paid and stay on the air. All right, we just spoke with Sophia Janelle. We love you, girl, and we're going to look into you, and we're going to go to a break. Don't anybody go anywhere. We'll be talking about one single rose when we come back. Another dynamic chick. Keep it locked. If you're looking for a relaxing place to hang out by yourself or with your family and friends, visit Big Top Popcorn Cafe for some great food and fun with board games, flat screens, and more. Enjoy anything from gourmet popcorn to nachos and cheese and specialty frozen drinks and smoothies. And check out Big Top Popcorn Cafe's theme, the old with the new. Enjoy an extensive photo display with everything you can think of from Detroit to East Point from the 1930s till now. It's a trip down memory lane and the gourmet popcorn is first class. So come down to the Big Top Popcorn Cafe in the Eastbrook Commons, Nine Mile and Gratiot in East Point. There's nothing else like it. My sister and me, 24-hour hair braiding, specializing in all phases of braids, locks, and twists. Men, women, and children are more than welcome. Several braiders to serve you and your entire family. We are reasonable, affordable, and professional. Access us about our back-to-school specials or book online at mysisterandme24hourhairbraiding.com or call to schedule your next appointment, 313-340-9515. Come on down to my sister and me, 19001 Livernois Avenue, off of Seven Mile. We can't wait to see Hopeland my sister and me. When we bring TV to reality, have your child's favorite mascot character come celebrate his or her birthday. We offer a very affordable way for your child to have a one-of-a-kind birthday. Please call us today at 313-995-0177. Copeland Entertainment. Mascot characters come to you. You, you, you. Yo, and we're back. We just completed speaking with Sophia Janelle. Oh, my God. Just super dope. I mean, don't you feel like encouraged and yes, stuff right she now? E stands Man. for everything. Encourage. Yes. for everything. A step yes. for everything. Everything woman. Mm. I think I think that's dope. You're going to get a t-shirt made. Hey, we should start a movement and everything woman the movement. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Man, we are. Okay. Yep. Big ups. <laughs> we are talking about entrepreneurs, and we've had two very big heavy hitters. We've had Keisha Shh. Danielle with KDC. Yes. We've had... Sophia Janelle with just oh, uh, her vocals, voice. her her just entrepreneurship is just so encouraging. We have one single rose on the line with us now, yo. This is the Detroit native. What up, sis? What up, though? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How you doing today? Man, I'm I'm doing awesome. Let me tell you, you are truly phenomenal too. Truly phenomenal. Oh, thank you. I'm working on being that, but thank you. Yes. I mean, you. what do you do? You do acting. You do poetry. You do producing, motivational speaker. I mean, you are you are what we are now, what, an e-woman? Yes, definitely an e-woman. Yes. And now you do hosting as well. There's an event coming up tomorrow that you are, in fact, hosting, right? Yes, there are actually two events. The first is Soul Sipping at Manila Bay Cafe. This will be our first month hosting Soul Sipping with DJ Funk Natra. We will have um, music. There will be a selected artist every week. I'm not sure who that will be tomorrow, so we'll make that announcement. Yeah. It's, you. Hey, it's Sophia Janelle. Sophia Janelle. Yeah. Put up on some. I thought it was going to be a surprise. Oh, did I just. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm about to get kicked out the group. <laughs> 
It's okay. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. So collective family. <laughs> I can't keep a secret for nothing. <laughs> so forget you heard that. Be surprised tomorrow, okay? Yeah, yeah. Forget about that. Okay, forget about it. <laughs> so you'll be hosting it. Where's it going to be? What's the time? Manila Bay Cafe is located at 4731 Grand River at 14th. That's about a mile west of Motor City Casino in Detroit. And we will be sold sipping from 6 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock. The oh, event is free. You just come, hang out, network, listen to some music, um, talk to your people, and we're going to get it in. That's what's up. Girl, One Single Rose, where does that name come from? That's dope. I yes, love it, it by the way. Dope. I mean, yeah, that's dope. Where's the name come from? Thank you. Well, my, my full name is Rose Marie. Yes. Oh. Back in like 2005, I edited a book for a friend, and I let her know I was writing some poetry, and she was like, you know what? I got the perfect name for you. Hmm. The single Rose. Mm. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I like that. <laughs> Single roles ever since. <laughs> wow, and and with that, you've done so much. You have what two two books of poetry that you that you've published, right? Yes, yes, I have two self-published collections and one naughty chat book. Ooh, naughty chat, naughty book. chat. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Churches, I'm like, wait a minute, you ain't Pearl. You ain't, you ain't Pearl at church, are you? <laughs> they don't know about Pearl. <laughs> they don't know about Pearl. <laughs> hey, you'd be surprised. Now, come right. on, ch- church folk, they probably got a copy of that under their pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Sister Williams might know who Pearl right. is. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's dope. We're, you know, we're, we've been talking about entrepreneurship all night, and you know, I consider you to be one who definitely is. I mean, you have you have a long standing here in Detroit. You know, you're well known. If if you say the name One Single Rose, everybody knows exactly whom we're who we're speaking of. You know what I mean? And and I I'm just excited to meet you in person tomorrow. I am too. Yeah. Yes, that that's going to be awesome. And you will actually be hosting, right? Yes, I will. Okay, that's it. That's exciting. Tell us again where the event's going to be, and then also where we can find you. The event, the event will be held soul sipping tomorrow from six to nine p.m. at Manila Bay Cafe. That's at forty-seven thirty-one Grand River in Detroit, right at Fourteenth, right across from the post office. It's in the huge brick building. There's a sign on the wall that says forty-seven thirty-one. And my website is www.onesinglerose.com. That's O-N-E, singlerose.com. If you um, go to my website, there are links to social media such as Facebook, Twitter, uh, Poets and Writers, a few samples of my work, and also links to Manila Bay Cafe. And I will be putting the link for um, Soul Sitting on there shortly. That's Dope. So there's no excuse for for people not to come out. You all make sure you are in the building tomorrow oh. from six to nine. It's all about networking. You're talking about you want to be an entrepreneur. That means you got to go out there and be where the people are at. You do. I know that's not that's not English at, but to be where the people are, right? Right, right. And that's so thing. We actually, if you have a question or you want to know something, if we can help to push you out there. When you see me pick my brain and I will tell you what has actually worked for me. Yep. So as far as getting out there, I know I've got a a long way to go, but I'll tell you what got me to where I am here as far as hosting and acting, um, doing poetry and singing and et cetera. So I just do what I can. That's what's up, man. Yo, it's been a blessing having you on the show, girl. And I cannot wait just to be, you know, just in the presence of some some heavy hitters, some mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, some people who are stepping out on faith and doing what their destiny and purpose is. It's just so encouraging to be around you. And I just thank God for meeting you and for you being on the show. Awesome. Thank Thanks you for having me, JC. It's been a pleasure. Aww. Yes, most definitely. And we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, chick. I know you said you're under the dryer, so go on and finish getting your hair dry, girl. That's entrepreneurs. We multitask, honey. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for coming on the show. It's awesome meeting you, huh? 
All right, man. That was one single rose, man. This show's been dope. It sure has. Yes, man. We we gotta honestly get ready to get out of here like in five minutes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm gonna do a little house cleaning here. You know, Worldwide Core Radio has shows seven days a week. And y'all need to tune in, not just to the Soul Studio from 8 to 9, but there's a bunch of awesome shows in there. Make sure you guys check out that website on www.worldwidecoreradio.com. Lenise Wilson, uh, Mo Devon, y'all, er, Leon, everybody's doing, is just doing it. You know, Ms. Webster, y'all just doing your thing here, and I'm just so blessed to be in this place. Talking about entrepreneurship, this is really evidence of an yes. entrepreneur, and, and Lenise and her team are really doing it, doing it big. So it just feels good to be here to, to call this home as well. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And to invite some people in to share yes, thanks as for well. Your yeah, me. yeah, you, you dope, Charlotte. You know, I appreciate you being on the show. You already know. Yes, I do, sis. Yeah. I love you. Thank you, Lenise, to you. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep on pushing on. That's what's up. Keep on That's pushing on. I like that. I like that. Next week, we got Tiff the Barber coming on. Oh, that so chick can cut some hair. <laughs> so we're going to have her on here. Just continue our entrepreneurship entrepreneurship series going and also we're going to have a, a guy and his name is Paris Toon he's a soul artist man and he's going to be our feature artist so his his music's dope um, also you guys want to make sure you check out New Soul Collective the digital magazine volume 20 is out make sure you go to the soul letter dot com and get that it's only two dollars for the for the digital copy um, and it's twenty dollars a year for the whole year so two dollars a month or twenty dollars for the whole year and uh, make sure you guys tune in next week man right here yeah. same time same station worldwidecoreradio.com where we are the new leaders in internet radio special thanks out to you Charlotte for being Aww. a co-host I love you gonna bring you back so be ready we going Yay. to the thing tomorrow we gonna hit the spot we, we tomorrow go, I'm going. we got to I'm we hitting up the spot so we can go I'm see going. Sophia Janelle and we can go see One Single Rose yes. and then we gonna hit up the website where we can see KDC Fashion for sure and we just make a day out of it a night let's do it Jay we just do it big <laughs> let the light shine <laughs> <laughs> That's what we go to. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Yes, Make sure you guys do tune in again next week, man, for the Soul Studio. And, again, thanks in advance just for your support here. For everybody who tuned in, mad love to you, you know, to my, my DJ, Stacey J, who wasn't here. I love you still, man, to all my guests and everybody, y'all. I'm just feeling the love. So yeah. we love you guys, man. Safe travels. And we'll see you guys again next week. Peace. <laughs>